Ray Rock in the Lakers, and the top is going to be controlled by the Astros. McGraw and tipped it right to Charles Jurgens, and there's Brady with the basketball on top. They'll go back over to Jurgens, and he's going to set up the offense. Looks like a man about defense from the high rules. Brady on the left side of the road. McGraw up top, and he goes to Ryan Rose, and plays the basket on B. Puts it out of the room. Now they go up top to Jurgens. Right side corner here is Harris. They look to go one side. Harris from this once, picks it up, and a scoop pass up to the top to Brady. This is Jurgens up top. Jurgens, we're back into the paint. Turn around, 14 feet. He doesn't go down. That one goes back. It's a good one. His final shot is off the back arrow. And now a foul comes against, uh, looks like it's going to be against the Blast for two. And that will go against Nathan McGrath. McGrath picks up the Pioneers' first team foul. Maybe the third end from the right of the basket. Up top it goes to Jurgens. Jack Jurgens, a 5'10 junior, excellent outside shooter. Here's Moody, open on the road momentarily, doesn't take the shot. Gives it back up top to Chad. Right side is Hurls, back to Jurgens. They look at the high post to Murrow. Down the corner is Hurls, bounces it, throws up top to Jurgens. Now Jurgens are back and out, now drives on his man. Goes left side of Moody, he's open for the three. It rolls off, and Nathan McGrath has the rebound. That was a shot well over 50% in the ball game against Fall City. And now they're live at left side underneath. They have the run off his glove. At number 32. That's Brandon Bender. He started in place of Madison. This is Harris, up to Jurgens. They go right side to Brady. And Murray takes a shot, it's short. Chad Jurgens goes hard to the floor as the Nebraska City has the rebound. They lead up as Harshman. They go uh, up top. Right side is Shue. This is looking around. Back into the right side of the shoe. Harshman has the Eagles turned around. A foul is going to go against the Blast for City. Chad Jurgens had the over on the pass, had a hand on it, the shoe. And it was a Harshman. Harshman has whistled through the personal. Two team fouls on the Pioneers. This Pioneer squad has beat up a little bit. Madison now starting as he has some torn ligaments in an ankle. He will play, but he's not 100%. McGraw apparently is breaking his wrist. He's got some uh, athletic tape on there. It's been a couple weeks since he did that break. It possibly uh, a light fracture. Here's Hayes on the left side. And he'll hit that basket. Tim Hayes puts the Apples on the board. Looks out at two. Five and a half to go first period. Here's Bender down on the right side. Now it's Harshman up top. Looks left wing to McGrath. He'll drive baseline. Whitehead cuts him off. Harshman, or excuse me, Shue up top. Harshman down on the right baseline. He'll pull up from 13. Shot hits the front of the wing. Does a great ball booty as the rebound. Good the extra crowd on hand tonight. This is Beatty on the right side. He has the ball to Chad Jurgens. Jurgens goes up to the top of the key. Beatty on the right wing. Jurgens towards the top. Puts it in the low post to Whitehead. Whitehead puts it on the floor against me. Bounce pass out to Bailey. And they reverse it up top to Chad Jurgens. Jurgens works on Harshman. Stops his dribble. And uh, goes out to Bailey. Uh, way outside on the uh, three-point line up top. Now Bailey's going to drive in on Bender. Throws it right side to Jurgens. They go back to Bailey on the top of the key. Bailey fought about the three-point. It won't take it. Jurgens on the wing. Now Jurgens tries into the paint. They pull up from 10, trying to go underneath the right hand. He's battled away, turn over. And here comes the rush to Sulu. Here's Shue in the corner. Bounce pass into Mead. Back out to Shue. This is Harshman up top. Left side is McGrand. To Shue on the top. Right side of the ring is Harshman. They go left side to Bender. Underneath the shot goes down. Got it at a First foul on Keith Whitehead. Orangeman picking up their first team foul. It's 4-2, and it is Brandon Bender. 
with a chance for the three-point throw. Free throw is on the way. It's short, and Miller has the rebound. Pioneers up by two. Baby in the right corner. As well as flashing across the paint, the throw it out. It was going off the glass, but they're going to say no basket as the foul came on the floor as a whistle stops play. That will go against Jason Shue, 13 foul on the Pioneers. 3.56 to go, first period. Penner checks back out of the ball goal as Whitehold is back in. 4-2 to the score. And Asker City up by two. Here's Jurgens. Got to go left side to Baby. Now past the three point line. Back up top is uh, Jurgens. They're driving to the free throw line. Pull up to 14 and back up the line. 3.40 to go, Hushman Press. Hushman throws it ahead to the ground in the front court. And we'll go back to Harshman on the top of the team. They'll set up the offense. Shoe on the right side. Out past the line. Here's Harshman top of the team. Into Meade. Will turn. Off the left side. And good with the left hand. Six four. With 3.15 to go for Spirit. Chad Jurgens works on Harshman. Backs into the paint. Bounce pass out to Miller. He'll step out to the perimeter. Goes against the LeBron. High off the uh, third. And hits it. Jeff Miller skies over the Nebraska City defender Lake Lair, and here's uh, Lake Lair out of the left wing for the Pioneers. Up top is Shue, right side to Harshman, nearly loses it. Underneath it's Bender, uh, no call as uh, Whitehead crashes through the floor, and now it's stripped away by Bodie as the shot was missed initially by Bender. Whitehead came over from the weak side, good no call. Here's uh, Bodie on the top. Miller steps out to the perimeter. Skip pass to Brady on the left wing. And Miller flashes into the pole, goes up over uh, McGraw, but uh, won't get out, but keep, uh, or excuse me, Tim Hurst will track it down in the corner. There's Jurgens driving on the right side of the floor. Now Jurgens out of the lane on the right side of the page, will hit it. And the actress is up by two, 8 6, with 2 8 to go. Here's McGraw dancing. Legrand on the left side with the layup. Tied at eight with two minutes even to go first period. This is Jurgens past the timeline. There's Craig Penner yet set to come back into the ball game. Here's Brady open from three. It's great. Brady was open on the right side and there the three. Pressure from the Irishman. Here's Shue. Throws it ahead to Legrand. He'll try to get down on the left wing. There's the Harshman. Back in the corner to LeGrand. Up top to Harshman. He'll try a three-pointer. And this one is good. Harshman answers Brady's three. And the Pioneers lead it by one, 11 to 10. Here's Jurgens. Right side to Brady. Into Miller. Pump fakes once. Now goes around. His shot is blocked by Dude, but the foul comes against Terry Dude. And that will put Miller at the line for two. They're going to say that Paul Baby's basket was just a two. That way, the feet were on the line. So, Ashwin with 10 points here in the first period. And Asker City up by one. Jeff Miller with three throws can put the orange one up. Miller's first shot. Nothing but that. Tied at 11. 110 to go first period. Miller takes his time at the line. Second free throw on the way. And it's good as well. Substitution for the actress. It's Greg Dalladar in for Tim Hayes. Dalladar, a 6'3 senior. So four seniors and a junior in the lineup right now for the Orangeman. This is Harshman in the back court, into the front court now. Here's Madison on the left base side. Back to Harshman. Madison, the turn against his ankle, not 100%. Third post up against uh, Miller. 
no basket as the foul will come against Jeff Miller. Madison drew the contact. That problem that could have gone either way as Madison was uh, really pounded on Miller inside trying to get position. First personal one, Jeff Miller, second team foul on the Orangeman. Nebraska City with four team fouls here in the first. Uh, they're going to say the foul went against uh, Craig Penner rather than Jeff Miller, so it was a reach here. Here's a shot by Terry Lee from 15 feet away. <laughs> 45 seconds to go for a speed, 13 to 12. Here is uh, Chad Jurgens on top. Delabar throws it to Bodie, top of the key. Washington presumably will play for the last shot. Jurgens, left shot Harshman, into the paint. Right side, left side is Bodie. Brady Jervis wants six to go in the middle, and now a reach around foul is called against Nebraska City. That's going to go against Martin Madison. Madison, a 6'5 junior. Nebraska City leads by a point, and that will put uh, the rush into the bonus with 27 seconds left first period. Jeff Miller, two for two tonight from the free throw line. At 22 against Fall City on Saturday. Here's the uh, free throw by Miller. It's on the way, and it's good. Tied at 13 with 27 seconds left. First period in the semifinal of the Class B1 District Basketball Tournament. Miller with the with deliberate free throw style. This one hits the front of the wheel and drops off. Meade has it for Nebraska City. He'll give it off to Harshman. Tied at 13. And Nebraska City can play from the last shot in the lead as we wind down the first period. Harshman will go right side. That's she throws up top to LeGrand. It's down to 11 seconds. Over to Harshman. He'll drive in. Tries to go underneath to Meade. His shot is good off the glass with six seconds. And the throw to him is a steal. And a shot. One crowd as a, uh, a steal by Nebraska City. The shot did not go down, and that's the end of the first period. The score of Nebraska City 15, Beatrice 15. This is Beatrice Basketball at PWBE. Activity Center as we start the second period of play in Nebraska City with a two-point lead over the Orangemen, 15-14, and the Pioneers have the basketball to start the second quarter. Here's Shu on the right side wing, then look inside, high post, and it's uh, through the hands of Meade, but the uh, LeGrand will track it down. Here's Shu up at the three, and it's one, and now a foul comes away from the basketball. And I think that's going to go against Jeff Miller. With one for the basket, uh, one three for Nebraska City. So this could prove possible as the foul does go against Miller. And as he was trying to check out Meade, or was it Madison? And uh, that's the uh, third team foul of the Orangemen. So referee initially wanted to give him a win of one. So Madison, the third one on the baseline, on top of Shue. And here's the shot on the baseline. It doesn't go down. Madison has the rebound, and it's stripped away. Miller has it through the actress. Nebraska City leads by five. Brady, she has stripped to the floor. And on the foul, will come against Hirschman. As Brady crashed hard, he's up in the right there. Hirschman with his second personal. Eighteen thirteen to score. 
just on the way here in the second period. Ball Beatty up the line for the running bonus. First free throw, that's a drop three for Ball Beatty. Left it short. Here's Harshman with it for the Pioneers. Here we come, Jiggles. Goes to the right side, pulls up from 13. The shot goes in. No basket as the foul is on the floor. And uh, that will go against number uh, 11, that's Chad Jurgens. And I believe that's his first personal. 14 foul on Larson. Madison will put it in play from the left to the basket on the baseline. Lobs it into Meade. He has a strict little by Holes. Meade puts it up for Larson. Tim Holes just reached in as Meade not taking care of the ball. And this is Jurgens up top. He drags the offense. Man to man from the Pioneers. Jurgens, first to the right side. Bounce pass to the top is Beatty. Right side to Jurgens. Good drive in on Madison, close back up to Beatty. Now there's a mismatch on the roof as Miller has Hushman uh, guarding him. Beatty tries to throw and hits it. That's a three for the basket. Beatty's still in the row, but he stepped on the sideline as he tried to save it back in the house. Hushman really with a steal away. 18 16, Nebraska City by two. Into the director's lineup is Craig Penner. Madison will put it in play in front of his bench. In the Harshman. He's number two. Throws it ahead to Shue past the timeline. And they'll slow it up and give it off to Harshman. Left side is LeGrand. They look to go inside. Back up top of Shue. They swing it to the right. Harshman open from three. And he'll hit that shot. Harshman an excellent outside shooter. He's got two three footers. He's in the early goal. And it's 21 16, Nebraska City with 6 20 to go in the second. Jurgens will drive into the play. His shot is up. It doesn't drop through. And a block is going to go against Nebraska City. And if that's not Harshman, that is number three. And that really hits the Pioneers. And that is on Harshman. Harshman probably their best outside shooter. And he will have to leave the lineup and they will insert. Brandon Bender, 6-19 to go in the second period. Jurgens free throw. It's the front of the rim, and they'll drop through. Mattress Norville, an excellent uh, free throw shooting team, having trouble with where they're going, because Jurgens has missed one, Baby has missed one. Jeff Miller is three for four. They're all shooting three of six. Jurgens with the second shot. It's on the way, and yeah, this one doesn't go through. Meade has it for uh, Nebraska City, and now it's LeGrand. Harshman is still over, as Miranda uh, can't get checked in. LeGrand goes right side to Shue. Up top is Madison. They swing it left to LeGrand. Up top, this is Shue's three-point attempt. Bounces off, and Chugans will track down the rebound out the corner. They make it up, 5.55 to go, second period. Chugans goes up top to Hulls, left side is Beatty. Beatty works over to Jurgens, uh, clear out by the half-court uh, circle. And now he'll call the play. He works on the ground. Crossover dribble. Down in the corner is Holes. Slashes up to the road. Throws back up to Jurgens. Top of the key. Pump fakes. Goes left to Beatty. Beatty with jab steps. And now they look to post up Penno. He can't get it into him. And Jurgens has it up top. 21-16. Nebraska City by five. And now that's going to be a... Uh, is that an offensive foul on Jeff Miller? No, it's going to go against Madison. No. Keith Whitehead will check in for the Orangeman. Madison holding Miller underneath. Mark Madison with two personal fouls here in the first half. 21-16, Miller at the free throw line for the Orangeman. First free throw uh, is good. Miller with the second shot, 5.23 to go, second period. 21 17. Miller can pull his orange window within three if he hits the shot. It's on the way, and it's good. Substitute is Danny Gleason will check in for Paul Beatty. Gleason is a 6'1 junior. Hasn't seen a lot of playing time this season. 
Benjamin will uh, still press. This is Meade in the backcourt, gives it off to LeGrand. Jurgen's on him. Now double team as Gleason comes over. Right side to Bender. Back up to LeGrand. Now LeGrand tries to drive on Gleason. Goes down the rough baseline. Throws up to Madison. Not about the 15 footer. Throws it out to, uh, and underneath it goes. Bender, offensive foul at Nebraska City. Bender smashed through the right hand underneath. Keith doing a good job of setting up through that offensive uh, foul. First person on Bender. He's a 6'4 senior. And timeout is called with five minutes to go second period. It's 21 18. The Actress down by three. This is the Actress Basketball and KWBE. Thirty five seconds to go in the second. to go to the second period of play here from Flash Activity Center of Lincoln, Nebraska at Southeast High School. And the score is Nebraska City 21, the actress 18 in the semifinal of this Class B1 district tournament. And uh, the actress has the basketball as Keith Whitehall drew the offensive foul against Bender for the Pioneers. Chad Jurgens will bring it up for the actress. Drives to the top, into the paint, backs in. Now goes back out to Beatty. Beatty will set it up on top. Giving between the legs, kicks it out on the right wing to Halls. And they're going to say that Tim Halls traveled. Turnover on the Orangeman. Need will put it in play from the sideline into Bender. And it looks for someone to go to. They'll give it off to Madison. Plays it ahead to Shea past the timeline. And up top it is to LeGrand. LeGrand goes right side to Shea. Down in the corner is Madison. Back to Shea out on the perimeter. LeGrand has the top of the key. Back over to Shea. Holds it above his head. Now dribbles towards the top. Here's LeGrand. On the top of the key. Drives into the paint, missed slide short, or uh, missed the shot. Rebound is loose, and a foul will come against. Uh, who's it going to go in the Nebraska City? It's the baseline referee called it. Play getting the physical underneath. Uh, that will go against Nathan LeGrand. That is his second. So Madison and LeGrand have two. Harshman on the bench with three. And Keith Whitehead will be at the free throw line for the orange man. They're down 21 18. With 412 to go to second period. Whitehold, a 6'2 junior. Free throw, hits the back iron and uh, comes out. Regard has it for Nebraska City. So Orange and uh, free throw shooting rolls continue. Bounce so, pass out to Shue. Down on the baseline is Meade. Here's Shue into uh, Mel Bender. Keeps it alive as Whitehold really had a steal. Bender did a nice shot for Nebraska City. Out of the right, it's Shue. He's got it closely by Holes. Bounce pass to the left. He's moving the pull up from 10. It's an A ball. The rocket's over to the other side. It's Madison with the offensive rebound of the foul off the glass as he banks it in from in front. 23 18. It's a five point pioneer lead. Jurgens calls the play from the top. Right side to Beatty. So run cutters here. Here's Miller on the top of the key. Over the holes on the right wing. They'll hold it to Miller who comes over. Whitehall underneath. He'll hit the low up on the right side. Good work from Jeff Miller to find Whitehall underneath. And it's 23 20. The Rescue City by three. They have the basketball. Shoe goes to LeGrand. Five feet above the top of the tee. Over to Madison on the left. They'll go underneath to Meade. They'll try to go over Whitehall and hit the shot. Meade. Over Whitehead, he's got eight points. 25-20, it's back to a five-point Nebraska City advantage. 2.45 to go in the period. Here's Jurgens. Over on the right side of the 28-foot line. Gives it to Baby. Left side wing is Hills. And here's a near steal. They try to go in the middle. Not a good pass, but Hills gets it back. Baby on the right side of the wing. 
Reggie will look to attack. Miller on the top of the key. Holds it on his head. Right side is Jurgens. Holds the lead. Very patient. Running a shuffle offense. Miller over to Holes. Left side of Reggie is Jurgens. Now again, the cutter's cut through. Jurgens holds it out of the wing. Now works uh, to drive baseline. And a foul will come against Shue. As Jurgens picked up the foul. Uh, with Shue. And uh, for Jason Shue, that was his second. 2-10 to go, second period, 25 to 20. And Chad Jurgens at the free throw line. Orangeman shooting dismally from the line tonight. Jurgens free throw, does not go. Here's Madison with the board. Here's LeGron. In the backcourt, now past the timeline. Right side to Shue, out past the 28 foot line. In the bender, high post. Faces the basket, gives it to Madison up top. Right side to Shue. Here's LeGron on the top of the key. Jurgens towards the left, elbow, right side is Shue, who's open for three, he'll set up and take it. It rolls off, rebound by Mead, his father is good on the left side. Mead with a nice slide going for the power as he has 10 here in the first half. 27-20, with a minute and a half to go, second period. Beatty works between the legs, now drives on the ground. Right side is Jurgens, thought about the three, doesn't take it. Beatty has it on the top, drives on the ground. He'll mark into the lead and hit it off the glass. Now here's uh, the Lancaster City working against the press. Bender, and uh, here's a travel on Shue as he took three steps after he got the pass from Bender. 27-22, it's a five-point Nebraska City lead. Beatty works on the top. Still not enough from the high rules. Paul Beatty, left side to Hulls. Beatty, thought about the three, he won't take it. Works on McGrillan, backs into the uh, low. And now the foul comes against Nathan McGrillan. That was kind of a tic-tac foul, but uh, the Actors fans will take it. That is number three, and you can hear the Nebraska City fans. Third personal foul on both of them are a 6 4 senior. Easily the best athlete of that. Maybe was backing into the paint. The ground was trying to keep him out of there. It really wasn't much of a foul at all. Maybe will hit the free throw. So for Nebraska City, we'll have a couple plays in fast shutter with one minute to go to second period. Harshman with three, and he will check back in. Bender will come out, and Nathan McGrath with three. And uh, both of those players are in the ball game at this point with one minute to go before halftime. Maybe second free throw is too hard off the back island. It's uh, McGrath with the rerun. 27-23, four-point Nebraska City lead. Harshman works up top. The drive on Jurgens. Here's uh, Madison, throws up top. She will drive to the left side, gives it off to McGraw, play out top. They go to the right side wing. Booty on him. Up top is Harshman. It's down to 32 seconds. Harshman reverses, goes to the right side. They step out of cover. McGraw open on the top, will take the shot. Now he'll go to the left side wing, pulls up, throws it up top to Shue, it's down to 20 seconds, 27-23 to Nebraska City. This is uh, Shue on the right side, into Madison, who will do it, underneath Mr. Shaw, that puts a rebound by B, this time it was good. Benjamin, can't keep the time of the Pioneers off the boards, and it's 29-23 with two seconds, here's Brady's shot, it doesn't go in the city channel. One second to go in the half. It's 29-23, and they turn over on the edge and they're down by six at this point. Six is hits in for uh, Nebraska City. Harshman is out. It's uh, number 22, that's Brad Wright, 6'1 junior. Need with baseball pass down the court. Shoe, and that's the end of the first half. 29-23, Nebraska City, and this is the Atlas basketball at PWBE.
Boys B-Red District at Lincoln Southeast High School. To get to this point, the Blaster City defeated Syracuse 63-39, and the actress down Fall City 81-64. And the Blaster City has outscored their opponents by an average of 16 points a game, and the actress has averaged about 55 points a game by their opponents, and averaged about 50 strokes. So it's kind of a surprise when you look at the end of the record of 11-8, and but they do play one of the toughest schedules in the state. We will the actresses below to start the second half. Holes will throw it into Jurgens as the edge will now move right to left towards the south basket as we watch it from the east side of the court. This is Jurgens. And they run the uh, uh, wing court. It's going to go against the basket. City is Jeff Miller. Set the screen on the left window. And it was Jurgens running his man out there. And it will go against number 12, Jason Shue. Third person on Shue. First team foul of the second half on the basket. City. Baby will throw it in to Miller at the free throw line. Pump fakes, goes up over me, but it's too hard. And the rebound comes out long, and LeGrant loses it to Chad Jurgens. And now Jurgens, uh, LeGrant steals it away with Jurgens trying to go to the right side. LeGrant tried to grab. Just with a little rear second to half. This is Harshman, left side to Shue. This is Meade on top, down to Shue in the corner. Into LeGrant, he'll go over the right hole to hit the shot. Again, has been relatively quiet. That's his uh, fourth quarter again. With the 720 to go third hole. Jurgens on the top. Stops his dribble. Beatty will come out. And uh, Jurgens now locks it over to Beatty. Out of bounds it goes. And it's uh, still away by Harshman. Harshman. Sloppy throw here to start the second half. Like Ryan. There's a hand to Harshman. Good drive on Jurgens. Reverses to back to the left wing. Now bounces it up to Shue, who's near the half-court circle. Harshman has it. Left side away, stops the shoulder. Hits Bender on the top. Right side it goes. Inside the move will turn around. Left hand to Jeffrey. It's no good. Chad Jurgens has the board for the Edgeman. 6.33 to go, third period. Edgeman down, 31-23. Eight-point lead is the largest in the game for the Pioneers. A shot up, no good. We're not good, huh? This power doesn't go. It's tipped up. And Bender will lose it. Now it's on the field of five points. I guess Chad Jurgens. Reinhold missed the body underneath. And Jurgens will draw the foul. That's his second personal. First team foul on the edge of here in the second half. Mead throws it into LeGrand as the pressure comes from the actress. That's a shoe in the, in the front court. Red work on Halls near the 28 foot line. Now he reverses over to the left wing. This is Mead on the free throw line underneath the LeGrand. His shot is in off the left side. Nathan McGrath is starting to wake up here in the third period. That's the second field goal of the period. He has six points. And now 10 out there by the after. Three down by two on 33 23. The sixth field goal of the third period. This is the after's last goal at 3 WBE. Good seconds to go to third period, and Nebraska City has got on a four hole run to start the third period of play. They're up by 10, 33 23, and Edgeman yet to score in the third. And uh, basically, what they've done is come out and committed two turnovers. Here's her nose on the far sideline, gets laid into Jurgens. Edgeman, one of the one for it. Jurgens works on top against Shue. Left side is Miller. And they try to go to move to uh, Weinhold, cross court pass through the lane, it was tip, out of bounds, and it will uh, belong to Wardrick. Meadey will uh, trigger the inbounds pass, here's Holes, up top to Jurgens. Uh, Holes goes back up to Jurgens. Chad will back it out, works against the 2 3 zone from Nebraska City. Left side is Meadey. Down about the three wheels and take it, Holes, back in the corner to Meadey. They drill it down to the baseline. Now drives in. Puck fakes over me. The shot is short. He's down the right hand. The shot won't count as the foul comes on the field against the Nebraska City. Right hand. Doing a good job on the offensive rebound. 
will go against uh, Brandon Bender. That's his second. The Ashers will throw it over the baseline. It's Paul Baby to the left of the basket. They go up top to Holes. It's tipped away. Holes will track it down at the free throw line. They'll dribble on a trailer. Works on top. Gives it off to Jurgens out of the half court circle. Chad waves the offensive down over the left four. And the, uh, here's Jurgens in the paint. A leader doesn't drop through. Meade has it for Nebraska City. They give it to Harshman. Goes it ahead to your shoe. Harshman City went to school with 5 to 2 to go for a period. Back inside to Meade. Let's trim it out. Over the is good. Meade with 14 points in the ball game. Here's Jurgens. Harshman on the way to stop the height of Nebraska City. Baby. Goes uh, over to the left side of the paint. Comes back out. Here he's throwing away by Shoe Jurgens. Sets up the three. It won't go. The foul is going to come against Mike Madison. Not a good foul as uh, Jurgens tried to trail. And Madison crashed into him. Right after the shot. And he will get two shots. Madison with three. There's a huge red shoe. Harshman and Legrand with three fouls. Bender was the other starter. He has two, and he's on the bench. 35, 23. It's a 12 point advantage for the Nebraska City. Jurgens. It's the first free throw. Rosemont shot. Bismo the first half of the line. 6 of 13. And Chad will hit his first one. He's 1 of 4. Second shot for Jurgens. It was good. The first place of the second half for the Atrus. Craig Cutter into the Atrus lineup. Harshman down by 10. Meade to throw it into Harshman. And now the foul comes against Paul Brady. And a sarcastic applause from the Alaska City fans. That will be number one on Brady, 6'2 senior. Orangeman are down by 10. First uh, second team foul on the Orangeman here in the second half. And here is a turnover on uh, the Nebraska City. It was me who tried to go into Harshman. It was two up to Harshman. Had it get off his foot. Me touched it on the stand on the baseline. Orangeman take over. Me will put it in play from the baseline. Here's Hills on the uh, left side. His shot too hard. And Madison has it for Nebraska City. Here's Harshman. Works on the top against Jurgens. So go inside. It's tipped away. Uh, excuse me, Craig Pitter with a nice defensive play. This is Jurgens. They're going to the uh, free throw line. Stop his dribble. Goes out to uh, Mady. Play out top. Mady has it. Works against uh, Legrand. Right side is Holmes. He'll drive the baseline. Pull up from 10. His shot doesn't fall. The rebound is tipped up. It still is. And Terry Reed has it through the Pioneers. Harshman. Nice curl from the field here in the second half. Harshman on the right side. He'll go into LeGrand. Where he uses his footing, he'll go up to the 10 footer. It's tipped alive, and uh, Paul Brady will throw it down for the address. Brady goes behind the back to uh, go through the uh, top line. Here's Jules on the left wing. Brady up top. In the pinner, he'll bounce it out to Jules. It's a steal away by Shue. 3.45 to go third period, another Orangeman turnover. And now a foul will come away from the ball as Whistle stops play. Or is it an uh, injury timeout? It looks like it's uh, Mead with uh, an injury to the face. He will take a seat as Bender checks back in. 35-25. 3.42 to go here in the third period. Orangeman down by 10. They scored two points in the third period. We're down by six at the half. Here's Harshman. He'll work down to the right side. Pull up from 10 off the glass. It's good. Harshman with eight points in the game. Now Brady brings it back for the actress. Brady works in the play. His shot is no good. Miller goes out to the rebound. The collar is good off the left side. with uh, Susie Pioneers back quickly the other way. Here's a steal by Chad Jurgens. This high shift pass is not good. And here's uh, Jurgens on the right side. They'll go out to Delabar, who's into the lineup. 
Moody back in the corner to Jurgens on the right side. They lob it in the middle, he'll go back up to Jurgens. And here's a tip away by Madison. And Nebraska City will go back the other way with the turnover. Ashton making it up slowly for the Pioneers. 2.45 to go third period. He'll go out to the right side wing. Here's LeGrand over in the left corner. And going to need Miller to take it away from Bender. Beatty pushes it up the far sideline. Ahead, Hensman intercepts. Ashton down by 10. 87-27. This is Harshman, works on Jurgens. Man and half in the Orangeman. Harshman stops his dribble, and the grab will step out to the top. The wheel works on Moody. Over to Harshman, he'll drive right side, pull up underneath. It's a bad pass as he's trying to get underneath the Madison. It was way over his head. And here's Dunbar on the far side for the Orangeman. He'll pull up from three. It's short. And Moody will throw out of bounds and see it back in. But Madison has it for Nebraska City. And you can hear the air ball chant from Nebraska City fans. Probably not the shot that uh, Rushman wanted at that point, 37-27. They're down by 10 with 1.35 to go. And Harshman uh, was walking the ball for Curry, and they got a 10-second call on him. There was no pressure against Harshman. And that was a strange call because it uh, wasn't really uh, paying much attention to the referee if it was a quick call or not. But the Rushman will take it on the turnover. There's Jurgens, referee in the BD. Well, with 1.46 to go, third period. Orange with a break, they're down by 10. Here's Jurgens. Moody on the right side. He'll go towards the top of the key. They'll pull it from three now, and it goes off, but the rebound is uh, Meade, and he'll uh, throw it out, but Hurst has it for the Orange Man. Tim will set it up. Looks for some help. Now drives down to the baseline, reverses. Picks up his dribble, and now throws it away. She intercepted it for Nebraska City. Shoe back with it now, 1.15 to go. Here it is, and it's a move. The shot is too hot off the glass, and a foul comes over the top. And I think that's going to go on Pavidi. Ben Gleason will check in for the actress. Hayes will check out of the lineup. 37-27. And the foul winner gets Jeff Miller, that's his second. Puts Terry Mead at the free throw line. Mead with 14 points, 12 of those coming in the first half. LeGrand will check out into the Nebraska City lineup. Here's number 34, Matt Steinheider. Steinheider, a 6'1 junior. Three throws from Mead. Lock it off the back end. This one won't go through. 114 to go through the field. Here's Mead's second shot. It won't go. Gleason has the board. So Moody misses two. Moody will go right side. Looks to go to Miller. He'll get it in there. Miller turn around. It doesn't drop. And now a rebound. And a foul as Ben Gleason comes over the back. First foul on Gleason, a 6'1 junior. 13th foul on the Orangeman. 15th foul on the Orangeman. Substitutes back in on Harshman and LeGrand. Steinheider is out, along with number 22, Brad Wright. Knee throws it into Bender. They'll go back to Harshman in the back court. Now to 55 seconds in the third. 37-27. Orange will down by 10. Here's Shu. They go top of the key to uh, move. He'll throw it away as the Eagles back. It's a three on four. He tries to go to Miller and Alicia foul. Comes it is Hushman. And that is his fourth. The Nebraska City fans. They like that ball. Fourth personal foul comes against Hushman with 43 seconds left third period. He's the first Neb City player to hit four fouls. Beatty will put it in play from the baseline to the left of the basket. Jurgens uh, will go out to the wing, but throw in the middle at the uh, free throw line. Back into Beatty. He has a loose ball. The shot is up and in from the left side. Beatty hits the basket over the second field goal by uh, Beatrice. And it's hit away by Jurgens. Out of bounds, and it will belong to Nebraska City. There's Meade. They'll look to go in the uh, paint. It's uh, Brad Wright. They'll go ahead with LeGrand. 
past the timeline. 30 seconds to go in the field. Again, it's right. Works on Jordans. Goes over to the left wing. Now drives baseline. Her pull up on the right. And it rolls off. Rebound is uh, by Reinhold. And Brad Wright will be whistled for over the back of Reinhold. That's his first personal. And that is team foul number four on Nebraska City. And make it team foul number five. That will put the Irishman at the free throw line. Reinhold, 6'2 junior. 19 seconds left third period. It's 37-29. Orange went back to within eight. They're down by 12 at times during the third. Uh, so third quarter is uh, pretty much a disaster. Here's Weinhold. Free throw is good. Weinhold looks smooth on that one. He has three points. And now the lead is seven. Tim Hills will check in if the free throw is made. And it is good. Whitehead is two for three, and uh, he will come out as Hills is back in. Wilson is out of the lineup. Whitehead is back in, and here's Meade. He'll throw it in. The side of the Jeff Moore. Moore goes up top to Brady. He's down to 15 seconds. Right side is Drew. He'll start out the three steps in, takes a two point hit. He's got it. He's been with Whitehead in the third. It's down to seven seconds. Ryan works in the back row. He goes to left to the ground. He'll try a three pointer. It doesn't go. It's time to stop. It's always been. Put it around at the end of the field. Go down by four. 47 33. And this is Beatrice Basketball at Pink Tiddle UBE. Tim Hurst, lightning quick down the road. It's good. And the soft 
Mayo. Having a nice game tonight for the Warship. Now we'll go against uh, Nebraska City. Madison, that is his career. Holes is at the line. Free throw on the way. This goal is almost the first to free throw throw. And it's 38 